Welcome back, my friends. For those of you that celebrate Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. It is November 25th, 2021, and I'm not going to keep you here too long, but we have to talk about this meteor situation. Even if you only focus on the last three days alone, the amount of people reporting meteor events and big ones too. Let's check these out. One of the bigger sightings is still taking in reports as well as visual evidence. This was a big sighting seen all the way in Canada, all the way around the north. Multiple videos here that we can play. This one right here is credit to Kevin Graff. You can see the meteor coming down right there. I'll go ahead and play it again. And some people were saying that this was traveling with a second one next to it. The blurring, the bright light maybe bleeding that other piece out. But great video right there. Credit to Jeffrey Borak for this video here. We can see a little more of the tail. I'll zoom in here for you guys. We can see the UTC time down here. 20 hours and 4 minutes. Very, very nice sighting there. Now the one with the man standing here doesn't really get a good view of it. I'll leave the link in the description box so you guys can come here and check out all these user reports. This was a huge sighting. Close to 200 people reporting this. And now I've been talking a lot about the meteor situation specifically in the northeast. And I want you to look at some of these locations. We have some that are on the west coast involved with this big grouping of meteor events. Take a look at the bulk of the areas. Maine, Maine, New Hampshire, New York, Connecticut, Maine, New Hampshire, New York, Pennsylvania, Vermont, North Carolina, Ohio, Virginia, Virginia, Maryland, North Carolina, New Jersey, Ohio again. The Northeast is absolutely plagued with meteors lately, and not just single reports. We're talking about events here, where it's more than five people reporting the same object. That's what all these are here on American Meteor Society. Naturally, I've been getting a lot of people sending me stuff about meteors they've seen or things in the sky, and I appreciate that very much. I, I dig through a lot of emails throughout the day, and this comment here stuck out to me. I'm not going to post the name because I'm not sure if this person wants to be known, but I'm trying to follow up on this situation that took place apparently yesterday near Raymond, New Hampshire. And I may have even found this event, but this person says, just saw a huge meteor or something land. I was near Raymond. Ended up seeing a smoky area way further away. Turned around, went back, didn't see the smoke. Turned around again, went back. So now I'm exactly where I originally saw the smoke. Huge truck with all kinds of hazard lights on. As I passed, he was starting to leave. Must have scooped it up already. Had to have a GPS on it. Probably shoebox satellite device. Although it looked like the size of a smart car. Lit up, bright white, went dark before hitting land. That's an incredible observation right there, if true. And now obviously I have some more research to do for that specific event, but we can see clear as day that over the last three days, any single night, whether you're in New Hampshire or all the way down to the Carolinas, you had an opportunity to see a major meteor sighting. Some of these are a little bigger than others as well. Keep in mind, a meteor is when they streak across the sky, making contact with the Earth's atmosphere, and then meteorites are the ones that actually reach the ground. In fact, although it's not perfect with location, usually on Volcano Discovery website, people will re people will report a sonic boom due to a meteor. It'll pop up as an earthquake, and then later it's removed because they verify that it is not an earthquake. So very interesting. This one right here popped up literally 20 minutes after that comment was left to me, and it's the closest one to New Hampshire. And not only that, but we had another one which took place near Delaware or the Chesapeake Bay area, just south of New Jersey and Philadelphia. But wait till you hear these reports of what people described, specifically this guy right here from Newark, Delaware. It did not feel like a quake. It was a single boom that shook the house, not so much of the rumble of an earthquake. I've been in a couple earthquakes and this was a different sensation. What he says right here is key. I don't believe this was an earthquake. It was more like a boom from either an explosion or maybe even a sonic boom. Many times on this channel, we've gone ahead and proven that a lot of these are exploding meteors. And what he says here basically says it all. Didn't seem like a quake, either an explosion, a sonic boom, or a meteor strike. Surprise, surprise. And now we're going to take a look once again at the un confirmed quake or seismic like event chances are this was a meteor strike and one of these may have hit the ground i don't have any proof of that yet i'm waiting to hear from some people that have reached out to me but let's check out these reports too this one right here says has been going on sporadically for the past half hour at least house keeps shaking nothing wrong in the basement what's going on that one's pretty interesting, but the other ones here describe a boom like something heavy was dropped. I want to apologize for not having my top editing skills in this video, but it was more about the information getting it out to you and at least covering the fact that the last three days have seen a lot of meteor activity. Plus, it's Thanksgiving, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day and night, and I will see you all in the next video. Shout out to Canada. The intro today is the outro. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>
stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.